What do you do when you hear a song But you want the lyrics out Get there a way to get them out of there So you don't have to pout Enter the vocal remover Free from easy west To demonstrate we wrote this song To give it a little test Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and the ability to remove vocals from a song has been a demand in the music community for decades. Uh, I remember there were dedicated hardware boxes for this. It was a big deal. And there's a lot of use cases for that. I think back in the day it was mostly to create karaoke tracks. You could sing on top of an instrumental track without the annoyance of the original vocals there. But now in the days of AI, separating vocals from songs has all sorts of use cases, including voice cloning and conversion and adding harmonies. I'm going to show you a few of the commonly used use cases for vocal separation in today's AI world, all with one suite of tools here at EaseUS. If you ever just need a quick vocal removal, I suggest you come on over here because they've got an always available vocal remover online for free. All you do is just drag an audio file and it will separate the vocals and the instrumentals. Let me give you a demonstration. I've got a few variations of the song we used to open up this video, so I'm just going to drag one of those files over here and drop it on down. Give it a few seconds to separate the vocals from the instrumentals. Here's the original. What do you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? Here's just the instrumental. No sign of vocals. And here are the isolated vocals. What do you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? Very clean separation. You don't hear any of the instrument bleed. Let's do another one. I'll just drag this in. Every now and then you do get this message about a cue, but don't freak out. It goes by pretty fast. Here's the original. What do you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? Here's the isolated instrumental. Come on down to Jack's Forge where we've got all kinds of deals going on. You'll go crazy when you see these bargains. Just one use case and then the vocal. What are you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? Awesome. Another one. The original. What do you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? So we've got two different voices going there. Here's the instrumental. So fun. And the vocals. What do you do when you hear a song but want the lyric out? Is there a way to remove those things so you don't have to bow? <laughs> You might want to note that there's a 20 minute maximum file duration, that's a pretty long time, and a maximum file size of 350 megabytes. So if you've got a long wave file, you might want to convert it to a high quality MP3. Original. What do you do when you hear the song but you want the lyrics out? It's the only way to remove those things so you don't have to bow. Instrumentals. Vocals. What do you do when you hear a song but you want the lyrics out? It's the only way to remove those things so you don't have to bow. It may be obvious to some of you that these samples are AI generated, so the fidelity is not like I took it off of a CD. So I invite you not to judge the quality of the actual sound of the separation in terms of fidelity because the source material is AI generated. Instead, I'd ask you to evaluate how well it separates what is instrumental and what is vocal. Here's an example that I quite frankly had some doubts about because of how faint the vocals are when they come in and how they blend into the background. Here's the original. So there they become more distinct, but I was a little worried at the beginning. But here's the instrumental. And here's the vocal. Feel the way it 
that's tall. Pretty impressive. Another reason you might want to extract a vocal line is to create harmony lines, and you can use various AI tools to do that. Just the other day, we reviewed Automy, which has added this ability to add harmony lines based on an isolated vocal you send up. For example, if I upload this isolated vocal, which we removed. What do you do when you hear a song, but you want the lyrics out? You can come to a tool like this and choose a preset. In this case, I chose Country Trio, and then you'll get something like this. What do you do when you hear a song, but you want the lyrics out? Then you can bring those individual tracks into a DAW and mix them with the original. What do you do when you hear a song, but you want the lyrics out? Hit there the way to get them out of there, so you don't have to bow. Pretty cool. So there's just a few examples of the quality of the vocal remover, and that is free to you, and you get one free download of your separation every day. But you'll notice these other tools here that are very helpful to an AI musician, for sure. The stem splitter goes beyond just the regular vocal remover and allows you to isolate certain instruments. Let me show you how that works. Let's go to stem splitter. Let's say, for example, that you didn't like the drum line that was generated in a particular AI generator and you wanted to just change out the drums. How can you just take out the drums so that you can replace them with something else? Well, with the stem splitter and you choose the preset for drums and without drums, which means you will get two tracks at the end of this conversion. But you also have other choices like bass or without bass and piano and without piano. If there is no piano in the song, you will get an empty drag. Let's try it with this rock version of it. Here's the original. What are you doing? All right, you know what it sounds like. And here is just the drums. And here it is without the drums. What are you doing? You hear a song? So now you're freed up to download this track and bring it into a DAW and maybe loop in another drum track completely. Shall we try it? First, let's find out what the beats per minute is of this particular song. So to find out that information, we can just click on the key and beat per minute finder, drag that song right on, and in mere seconds, it will tell you, of course, it's in the WAV format, it's 128 beats per minute and in the key of A minor. So that's all good information for us if we're going to use this with other tools, which we're going to do. Now in whatever DAW you like, I'm using Waveform Free, I'm going to set the beats per minute to 128. So if we bring our instrumental track without the drums in it to our DAW and we set the beats per minute correctly, then we can bring in another drum track from a completely different program or we generate it within here and replace that. Here's the original without the drums. What are you do when you hear a song? And here is a replacement drum track. And then we can listen to them together. What are you do when you hear a song? But you want the out. Then of course you add your effects and all that other stuff to make it sound awesome. Another cool feature is the pitch changer, and it does what you would expect. It does it really well and in a cool interface. Let's drag one of our examples in here, and right away we've got this interface. So let's just play it as it is. So we got 117 beats per minute, but if we went a little faster, slow it down. We can change the key. And you'll notice that it leaves the drums alone, so they sound normal. The suite also includes a noise remover, so if you have air conditioner sounds, fan noises in the background, it's great at removing those. I honestly don't have any recordings with noise in them to demonstrate, but you've probably worked with enough noise removal tools that you know what we're talking about here. The voice changer listed here is actually a separate product and not included with this suite. If you're a serious musician working with AI, you'll know immediately that these are tools that you'll want to use all the time, and it's just really nice to have them here all in one place for a pretty low price every month. Now keep in mind that the AI world is changing so fast and there's a lot of competition going on and prices change constantly. So don't take these as current fact. Always go check these out if this is something that you're interested in. So if learning about these kind of tools to make your workflow a little bit easier is something you're interested in, well then why not subscribe to this channel because these are the types of topics we cover all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...